डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स earthquakes and volcanoes more than half of the geographic area of india especially in the north is vulnerable to earthquakes which occur near the boundaries of tectonic plates the himalayan alpine mountain belt is a zone of plate boundaries and there are other similar zones spread worldwide these plate margins are also the origins of the volcanic eruptions and submarine under sea earthquakes that trigger tsunami waves map 2 shows the sites of major disasters in recent times steps to safety the most important step to safety is vulnerability reduction these include three essential steps as follows mapping maps help us to pinpoint the most vulnerable zones as shown in map 1 and 2 early warning prediction engineering with regards to earthquakes is a highly advanced subject new and latest technologies are used to relay information through different media to minimize loss of life and property life saving skills people living in zones that are vulnerable to earthquakes need to learn many types of skills disaster resistant houses need to be built one such skill that needs to be developed is drop cover and hold as illustrated below landslides Landslides occur on hill slopes and similar slope surfaces. A landslide or landslip is a geological phenomenon which includes a mass movement of rock base including soils and plants down a steep slope. There are different types of slip surfaces. Although the action of gravity is the primary driving force for a landslide to occur, water acts as a lubricating agent this is shown in the diagram below risk it can be seen from the diagram that the length and the steepness of slope are the factors that determine the potential risk to settlements property and structures at the bottom of the slip surface mitigation the resistance that material have to shearing forces lubricating agents like water and the type of forest soil are the major areas of risk management and mitigation strategy of protection against landslides hazard mapping map 2 showing landslide risk and occurrences 2007 makes it clear that the regions exposed to landslide risk are the hilly slopes checking human activities benching of slopes drainage control and construction of retaining walls to stop materials from slipping are essential mitigation measures 
areas. Landslides due to weather debris often occur on hill slopes or valley slopes. Areas are analyzed into severe, moderate and light landslide risk areas based on geological and weather related events. These are described in the vector diagram given and are also shown in map 1 and 2. Drought A drought is an expected period of months or years when a region notes a deficiency in its water supply resulting from failure of monsoon. Dry weather is not the only reason for drought. Drought may also be caused due to soil degradation, ground water depletion and poverty of the people. It can be seen from the map that the drought prone areas are located in semi-arid and arid zones. Map 1 Onset type Drought is a type of slow onset disaster. Map 2 shows that about one third of the Earth's land surface is affected by severe drought and semi aridity. Vulnerability Deficiency of rainfall may be due to climatic factors, including high temperature, altered ecosystem and bad agricultural practices. Low income and poverty increase the vulnerability of the land to drought. Drought is a complex phenomena. Over a period of several years, precipitation causes deficiency of related components like surface runoff, soil moisture, stream flow and groundwater as illustrated in the diagram. Wind and Cyclone Wind system. The Earth's wind system is driven by pressure. The horizontal movement of air is called wind. The natural direction of wind is markedly different in different parts of the globe because of pressure conditions, which in turn is caused by temperature differences between land and oceans. Cyclones. A cyclone is an area of closed, circular fluid motion with centers of low pressure surrounded by increasing pressure outward. Because the pressure is low towards the center, this is usually characterized by winds that rotate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere of the earth. Classification From the point of view of the location, there are two types of cyclones, tropical cyclones and temperate cyclones. Cyclones that originate due to contrasting air masses in terms of temperature, pressure and humidity are known as temperate cyclones. Tropical cyclones are varied in size, weather, conditions and other general characteristics due to which they range from small disturbances to violent storms, such as typhoons and tornadoes. Distribution Temperate cyclones are those cyclones that blow in the temperate region. Their origin is in the Mediterranean Sea. 
they become aggressive particularly during winter and these aggressive temperate cyclones are generally termed as depressions map 2 in india these depressions cause snow and rainfall in winter in the northern part of the country map 1 tropical cyclones develop over the ocean surface between 5 degrees north and 15 degrees north latitudes they are known by different names in different countries the six major regions of tropical cyclones are gulf of mexico western pacific ocean arabian sea bay of bengal south indian ocean western south pacific ocean and eastern pacific ocean